Hello everyone, Icecool Tech here, back again with a brand new video. Now today we're going to be taking a look at how the iPhone SE first generation has held up on iOS 13.4.5 developer beta 1. Now before we get into the video, if you happen to be new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button with notifications to not stay up to date with all the latest news, announcements, and of course updates from Apple, as well as reviews, tutorials, and more from Icecool Tech. Every subscriber I get truly does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Now let's see if we can have 1,000 subscribers before Apple's WWDC 20 event in early June. Timestamps are in the description if you'd like to use them. Anyways, let's get straight into the video. So iOS 13.4.5 Beta 1 released a few weeks ago, bringing a new wave of bug fixes, security patches, optimizations, and general improvements. Beta 2 released about a week ago, bringing more fixes and improvements. This beta is available for all compatible devices, which are listed in the pinned comment, and you can download the beta in the link in the description. Let me know in the comments what iPhone you use and which iOS version you're running. With that out of the way, let's get straight into general performance. General performance with iOS 13.4.5 Beta 2 on the iPhone SE first generation has been the exact same as Beta 1. This is no surprise as Beta 2 wasn't a major update. This isn't a bad thing either as Beta 1 ran just fine on the iPhone SE. Apps open up fairly quickly, games run without any major lag, browsing the web and watching video work great. This iPhone may be aging, but it has held up very well in regards to performance. Animations have been just fine as well. All animations run the same as Beta 1, meaning there should be no stuttering or lag. Scrolling through web pages, opening up the notification centers, swiping through the home screen, etc. all run perfectly smooth. The iPhone SE hasn't had any missing animations on iOS 13, unlike the iPhone 7. Now iOS 13 system animations have been very smooth on the iPhone SE, and it looks like it will remain that way for now. Now before we get into battery life, I should take a second to mention that my iPhone SE is holding a maximum battery capacity of 92% and has had a restart. However, I have manually disabled performance throttling in the battery health settings, meaning that my iPhone is not being performance throttled to maintain battery life and prevent restarts. Battery life on the iPhone SE while using iOS 13.4.5 Beta 2 has been slightly improved when compared to Beta 1. Now I've been getting about the same on-screen time as Beta 1 and previous releases. Now this is enough to get through the day with light to medium use. Naturally, medium use will result in less battery by the end of the day. If you're a heavy user, I definitely recommend keeping a spare charger with you as you'll need to charge the phone throughout the day. Now when it comes to standby time, the iPhone SE has been great while on iOS 13.4.5. It's been slightly improved over 13.4.5 beta 1, but not too much. I have noticed a drain of about 2-4% overnight. Overall, the iPhone SE first generation has held up very well on iOS 13.4.5. Now should you update? Well, if you're on an earlier version of iOS 13 and you are okay with installing beta firmware, I'd say go for it. If you're on an earlier version and want to update, I'd say wait about a week after the public release. I say a week so you'll have time to see if any major bugs are reported before you go ahead and update. When could we see a beta 3? Well, I'd say we could see a beta 3 as early as Tuesday the 21st or the following week on the 28th. However, this is just speculation, meaning it could release even earlier or possibly later. As always, if you have any questions, definitely make sure to leave a comment down below. Alright everyone, that's all I have for this video. If you did enjoy the video or found it helpful in any way, make sure to leave a like. And if you are new to the channel, definitely make sure to hit that subscribe button. Every subscriber really does mean a lot, it's very appreciated. Don't forget to check out the iSchool Tech official Discord, link in the description down below as always. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.